Alrighty guys, welcome back. Today guys, we are currently headed outside. It's a little bit cold out right now, a little bit dark out, but we're heading out to the 2000 Ford excursion here. I got a video to go ahead and make today. Oh man, people must have got their chimneys going. It's really smoky out. Not much air movement, blowing all the smoke away. But we're gonna be heading to the back of the 2000 Ford excursion here today. We're gonna be talking about my, my subwoofers I bought a little over a year ago. I mean, it was, it was two summers ago, so I guess I, maybe it's been, or no, it was one summer ago, actually. I don't know. It's uh, December right now, so it's been like a year and four months or something like that. It really hasn't been too long since I bought these things, and, and what they are, guys, they're two 12-inch kicker comp Cs. Here's the box that came in. I bought these over a year ago, just this with the box, and these subwoofers in the box. Uh, under my seat there, I got myself a 1100 watt amp. Not too much. We're not pushing too much power to them. Just the right amount. Got a big air space back here. These things pushed a lot of air. I wasn't pushing too much power to them. Just the right amount. And I was very satisfied with the uh, the overall performance of these things. But, but very recently, guys, they've just been hitting very weird. And the only way I can describe the way they've been hitting and just the overall sound of these things it's pretty much just a rattle. They I mean, sound like just they're just overall really blown. Just just out of nowhere, uh, just just starts rattling. I mean, some notes they still hit pretty clean, but just not the normal clean, fresh hit and just overall thump that these things used to put out. Now it's more just like a rattle, just a bump, bump, bump. Sounds really bad. In other words, I don't. I'll throw in a clip for you guys real quick. I, I don't want to get copyrighted, but, you know, I just want to give you guys an idea of how these things uh, sounded before and after. I don't really think I have a clip of uh, of them playing about a year ago, but you guys can feel free to watch my YouTube video, though, that I put out over a year ago of me doing a sound test of these things, you know. But I'll throw in a clip I took recently, and um, you guys can check that out. So from the sound clip, judging by that clip, they don't really hit as smoothly as a subwoofer should. They sound very bad and just they just overall rattle. They sound very blown. So I watched a YouTube video a little while back. Um, just this guy going over how you can identify with your subs in the box. I mean, just just briefly identify uh, blown subwoofers, just some things you can check out and try and do. And... Uh, so I went ahead and did that, and that's why I'm out here recording now. So the first test is just to pretty much take your two fingers, about right here, or three fingers, I guess. But just make a pattern just like this. Press on your subwoofers. Does it come back? Is there a lot of resistance? Is it really tight? It's, it's good if it's tight. Not a lot of resistance. Does it come back all the way easily? Which it does. So that's a good test. This, this subwoofer is good. Now here's the thing, guys. On some songs, on, on pretty much all songs, uh, with certain notes, it hits really deep, really low, and, and really good. But then the main notes that these subwoofers should hit really good at, it only half of the sound sounds good, but then the rest just is just plain rattle, and, and I don't like that. So uh, the other thing you guys can listen for for a blown subwoofer is when you do this, and you press on it, okay, press on it, and listen... If it uh, if it's rubbing, you know, if it just sounds like it's crunching or scratching up against something, that that could be an identification of uh, or an indication you can identify of a blown subwoofer just by pressing on it. That sounds pretty good. Comes back really tight, so that one's pretty good. Now this one here. That one just has the scratching sound to it. Not really the scratching. It was worse earlier. Kind of just sounds like it's rubbing up against something. So that is uh, what I think is the problem with my subs. Why they just sound like just complete rattle. Like pretty much when it goes in for the bump, it pretty much just sounds like it just stays all the way back. Or like 
all the way pressed out. It just sounds like, like it just straight up, like a vibration, but like a really annoying one. Like it's just rattling. But then the there's another thing that this uh, I saw in another YouTube video talking about a rattling kicker comp R slash kicker comp C. They're very similar design subs. Which by the way, guys, I actually bought some kicker comp R's to go ahead and replace these. So I bought two kicker comp R 12 inch subwoofers last night to replace both of these. So I'll get a video done once I install them and also I'm upgrading to a 1500 watt amp. Only 400 more watts, but oh well, they're gonna, uh, this one's a little bit better of an amp anyway. So a little bit more expensive. I'm investing some money in the subs and now the amp, these should last me, my new carrier comp bars should last me a little bit longer than these did. I don't know if I was pushing too much power to them. Everyone really recommends on two Kager Comp R12s, just around 1100 watt uh, amp, and they don't really turn it up too high and you should be all right. And that was the case for a very long time. And then pretty much now, I think that's blown. Oh, hang on. Hmm. Oh, this one might be too. Oh, in the middle, it's fine. Huh. Uh, it was only this one making this sound earlier. Now that one makes it too. It might be normal because they're making it in the same spot. I don't know, but earlier I was able to press on the press on this thing and then press on that one and make uh, like a scratching noise and driving up against something. And now this one is doing it. Hmm. Strange. Now I'm not too sure how accurate that is, but I don't know. Mine makes noise when I press on them. I don't think they originally did that, but I may be wrong. Either way, guys, they make a really bad rattling noise. So. <laughs> uh yeah out with the old and then in the next video or in a future video because i'm they're going to come in in two days so there will be a couple of videos out after uh before the kicker comp r install videos or in that video comes out um yeah guys so i'm done with the kicker comp c's for now they just rattle they sound terrible i've watched videos uh one guy had to cut a, take out a sub and cut a little hole because he shook it and he felt rattling on the inside so he cut a little hole and dumped it out and there was uh, some of the glue uh, pieces, little chunks like that, that big and stuff, inside the subwoofer, and it was making his rattle. But mine don't sound like it's tossing something around in it. It just sounds like just straight up blown. Which, I don't know, I'm not too sure how they could be blown. Only use them for a year, only pushing 1100 watts, not the full amp. I don't know. But we're going to test out a 1500 watt amp to two kicker comp R12s here real soon. So make sure you guys like and subscribe and hit that notification bell to stay up to date. And with that one, that's it for the kicker comp C's. I figured I'd come out here and talk about my subwoofers for today's video. And I was going to show you guys how this one doesn't make noise if you press on it than this one does. This one definitely makes a way louder noise than this one does when I press on it. Way more of a scratching sensation. Yeah, guys, that's it for my... For my kicker comp C's, next time you guys will see subwoofers in the back of this thing, it'll be two kicker comp R12s pushing 1500 watts. So, that's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like if you did. Subscribe if you're new and you haven't already. And with that one, thanks for watching. And with that, that's it for this video and my four excursion. Catch you guys in the next one.